Hey, any fresh? It's the 17th of January, 2020. And this was brought to my attention yesterday, and it brought back to my memory what was shown to me several months ago, actually, referring to Kanye West. Now, he's taking part in this Awaken 2020 event tomorrow at Sun Devil Stadium in phoenix arizona 33rd degree all that kind of stuff and so i looked into this just a little bit and it was enough for me to be prompted to share a few things with you that were revealed to me like i said a few months ago if you go to the various websites they have you'll find that you know they give the the usual spiel it's time for you to be part of the Jesus awakening. And the thing is that there are many that will come in his name. And Kanye, and again, I have not gone and researched any of these other people, but Kanye a lot has been given to me. So I simply want to share it with you. Again, the Awaken event 2020. We can pull the name Anak right out of Awaken. And we have the W and E left over. Okay? We awaken. Anak. These are the Nephilim. These are the powers and principalities. The spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay? And it's taking place at the Sun Devil Stadium. But in general, it's in Phoenix, Arizona. The Banu. Remember the Phoenix Bird. The one on the Economist magazine as well. Right? It takes place on 118, which, you know, we can translate into an 811, which is some other road that I will go down at another time regarding Ezekiel 8 and what's going on in Israel. But from the time in Phoenix where they have an event at a memorial that represents all the armed forces, okay, there's once every year at 1111 a.m., the sun shines perfectly on this memorial. And each of these pillars represent a branch of the military. Okay? At 1111 on 1111 every year. And don't forget, 1111 was the, the date that the bell rang around the world in 2018. So keep all these things in mind. This is all significant. And I can't exactly tell you what it all means. I just do the best I can to share this stuff with you. Okay? So the Phoenix military memorial the only pillar missing there now is the space force the sixth branch or you could say the sixth finger if you will don't forget the nephilim or obama with his six-fingered portrait so on and so forth now kanye west was born on june 8 1977 and as of this event will be 2,223 weeks and three days old. That's just the way it is. And it also equates to these numbers, if we include the day, 42 years old, which is the number of Antichrist, 7 months, 11 days. Again, another road we could go down. We can translate every number and sit here all day long. That's not how it comes to me generally. There are certain things that pop out. This popped out pretty loud. We're talking about Kanye here. The guy is an implant, and he essentially is a victim himself. He, he really doesn't fully understand the deception he's under, but he is an infiltrator. Remember, they will mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they will not cleave. This has gone on throughout the ages, this interbreeding, if you will, and it's spiritual. you got to understand, it's a spirit that drives this evil. You know what I'm saying? You can all come to Jesus, which is what my prayer is for the world. Because time is short. You're dealing with the synagogue of Satan. The Christian church as well, because that is who he is essentially working for. And all these uh, Bible verses I put up here... I really, really encourage you to go and look into these in relation of everything I'm talking about here, as well as the numbers themselves that these scriptures fall on, because they're all relevant and tell a very distinct story. So is Kanye a believer or a deceiver? Well, I believe he's a deceiver. 
but he is not fully in control of what he does. He needs prayer just like all of them do. You know, anyone can turn from their sin. It, it, they just have to repent and realize that they need a savior and that this world isn't it. Anything we do in this flesh is not going to get you to heaven. You understand there's only one way to that tree of life, and that's through Jesus Christ, the blood of the lamb. So we're talking about, you know, a viper here. Just understand, this is a very, very, very cunning spirit we're dealing with. And many come under its influence that they've been deceived, you know. Because this is, ba the, all of this I'm telling you about, this Nephilim spiritual wickedness, it's all baked in the cake of humanity. It truly is. A little leaven leavens the whole loaf. The whole loaf of humanity has been leavened. Therefore, you need to be cleansed, purged, and nothing any man can do can do that. It is a spiritual war. You must be spiritually reborn and let the blood of Christ purge that filth from you. You understand? I hope so. Remember Isaiah 29. Remember, they turn everything upside down and backwards like palindromes or anagrams it's all deceit magic sigils of spirits that's what it is so i believe that kanye unfortunately has not been reborn not in christ jesus rather he's been rebranded kind of like they've done with climate change you know what i mean satan remember was transformed to an angel of light right so let's look at his name kanye omare west kanye means next in line to chieftaincy, to give honor, tribute. Omare means God, the highest, high-born, chief speaker. And West, of course, is the direction of West. However, in the Bible, it's a different story. The word itself is used 69 times. You can find one of its meanings in <laughs> Joshua 11.3. And you'll see that that 3.11, 11.3, it, it just goes on and on and on. We're literally seeing the, the spiritual manifest into the natural, it's as if it's a coded program. But this is a program of God that no man can fully understand. You know, we're blessed just to be able to see glimpses like this. You know what I mean? So, West, interesting. A very interesting word in the Bible. It truly is. So, just get a load of this. Kanye, the, the Y and the E produce a yay sound. However, if we turn it around and make it E-Y, that makes an A sound, as in like, hey, they are wolves. Kanye may make you pray. So it's A. So we take Kanye and we turn it around, we get a knack, as in a knack, the Canaanite, Nephilim of the giants. If we take his middle name, Omari, God the Highest, it is Eramo. And if we look in the Greek concordance, number 5612, this is very interesting how it's, like I said, use anagrams and palindromes. This is, this is all spelled out right here. It means to roar, as in 1 Peter 5, 8, as a lion roareth, seeking who he may devour. So, Iramo, Iramo of siblings. This is an actual word. You can look this up. Offspring or seed to beget. And then West, if we turn it around, we get to sow. Now, think about this. To join or attach by stitches to sow, as in sowing seeds, to plant seeds. A new race of beings, right? The sons of an act you can find in Numbers 13.33. It's the same number pattern that goes on and on and on all throughout this, this whole thing. The seed in the Hebrew is 22.33. Do you think that's an accident to have the 23 and 23 so many things just in that single number alone? It means sowing time or a child, right? But the tares, this is who the enemy has planted amongst us. You'll also find that in Matthew 13. Let's just get this out of the way here. If you turn Kanye Omari West's name 
backwards and define it. <laughs> it's a knack. Siblings are seed that were planted by the enemy, sown by the enemy. This is just what I get, you guys. Okay, so the end of the world when they ask Jesus, what, what's, what do we look for? What are the signs? And Jesus says, the first thing is let no one deceive you. And that's the whole point of you being reborn in the spirit. Because when you are, it literally changes you to the very DNA. And you are a new creature in a literal and spiritual sense. And you cannot be deceived if, in fact, you are walking in that spirit and seeking his face always. Because that's how it works. Right? Kanye is preaching the wide gate, the broad way. His first album since his conversion, so to speak, is Jesus is King. Let's take a look at this. It's his ninth album. The album Yeezus was his sixth album. Now we see the 69, which was six years prior, right? The six and the nine. He was born in Atlanta. He's an Atlanta boy. He says he's from Chicago, though, for whatever reason. But Atlanta and Chicago happen to make the initials of Antichrist, right? His album is quite literally, to me, the firmament. You're looking at the star in the middle. And let's not forget the 33 revolutions per minute was used in mind control operations and so forth for programming people. If you put somebody on a tabletop like device but with their head at the center of the circle and have them look up at a spiral image on the ceiling while they're being spun clockwise 33 rotations per minute you can train them to literally go out of body. And that's just a fact you know what I mean? So his new songs AR-1331. Now, he claims that that is from a manufacturer's number back in the 70s of a gospel song. Songs, new songs, new psalms. There's so much to this, guys. I wish I could just hang out with you and we could go through all these Bible verses and everything. I really do. But this is plain, flat out, and simple telling you that he is of the sons of Anak. Spiritually or naturally or both, he's under that influence. You understand? He's been trapped, snared, bamboozled like so much of the world. And I want you to go over these things that I'm showing you here because I miss so much. And I just pray that this leads people to understand the severity of the war that you're in for your eternity. You must be reborn. You must cleanse yourself, purge yourself of the leaven of this world. Right? So they're the giants. I mean, just all throughout Numbers 13, all over the place. So many of these other things. Revelation 13, 11, This one just was brought to my attention. as I believe that this is describing Donald Trump. He had the horns like a lamb. And if you go look at that very definition, horns... In the Bible, it's the hair of the head. Like Trump is just trademark known for the hair on his head. And he speaks as a dragon, which is a fabulous serpent. You know how Trump loves his snake poem, right? You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. You should have known before you let him in. And don't forget Kanye and Trump's dragon energy connection. You remember that? In Kanye's song, Closed on Sunday, that's just pre-programming you for the coming Noahide laws, the Sunday law enforced through the 5G, through the chemtrail components that have been dumped and are installed in everyone in the world, color from space, which I'm going to do another video on. The Chick-fil-A, who was sold out to the SPLC, supporting LGBTQ. They folded under the pressure. The climate change. I mean, there's so much, you guys. You need Jesus. When you see just how steeped in evil this world is, you should come to the conclusion that no man is going to save anyone from any of this. You understand? Jesus Christ, the only door, the only way, the only truth, the only life. 
Seek him first, always. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 